your first opening day at SunTrust Park. Uh, you're looking around. What are, you, what are you thinking? What are you feeling? Excited. I'm excited about just walking around the area. The battery, uh, the players are going to walk through. I'm staying in the battery right now, so I've been impressed with it more than, I'd say more and more each day. And the ballpark as well, seeing it full, people excited. It's great for me to be able to, to experience that. What's the most exciting part? I mean, the lines are down now, you know, the grounds are looking good. What's the most exciting part for you? I think just opening of the season, the newness, the passion. Everyone's excited, <clears throat> whether it's the office, it's the players. It's a long season, we all know that. But there's something special about opening day. It isn't ever going to change. It's a holiday, pretty much. So uh, to be a part of that, you never take those for granted. What, you just said you just submitted that opening day roster. Yeah. What were some of those tough decisions that, that you came down to having to make these past couple of hours? Yeah, I mean, we <clears throat> we pretty much had made a bulk of the decisions. We just, you know, you leave it open just because what if something had occurred last night? What if something came up this morning? You don't set it. <clears throat> you don't set it until you need to set it just because something might happen. So we'll do it in about 10, 10 minutes or so. And uh, just want to make sure everything looked good, put guys on the DL, all that kind of stuff, and we're good to go. I look on the season now. Uh, for you, this is uh, a rebuild. What would success look like for, for you this year? You know, I've been asked that as well. You know, I believe the last of, I've called it, the teardown moves are done. Matt Kemp was the last move that we felt we needed to make, and no disrespect to Matt. Just it was a long-term deal with significant dollars over the next two years. And we have a kid in Ronald Acuna that we're excited about that we feel is going to impact us in 2018 at some point. So we wanted a clear spot for him. Now, in terms of wins and losses and expectations, goals, the goal really is one, you always want to make the playoffs one win the World Series. That goes without saying. But in terms of the individual goals, Hopefully every player gets better. That's what we want. That's what we hope. That's what we expect. Uh, we have a ton of talent here. Do they reach their potential in 2018? Is it 2019? Uh, that said, you go around the diamond in the rotation. The upside of this young team is huge. And you're talking about the, the youngness of this team. Do you measure success this year with wins or losses? Is that how it works with, with the young guys? I mean, look, you're, you're going to be judged on wins and losses no matter what. So regardless, I can talk about all kinds of other things. But look, there's no, no doubt. We're about winning, right? This organization is about winning. It's always been about winning. Um, that said, more specifically, you know, we need some of these young guys to continue to take a step forward. 2018 is going to be a huge year to tell us who's part of this court and who isn't. And they're going to get every opportunity to play, to pitch, and show us what they can do. And you know, we're not going to wait forever. So I think a lot of great work's been done. Fans have been through a lot. But I think they're starting to see the results of all the work that's been done before I got here, from scouting, development, baseball operations. There's a ton of talent in the minor leagues and at the, at the big league level. Now we're ready to take the next step and to continue to add. That might be come July, that might be in the offseason. And hopefully find out more and these young guys take a step in the current year. You had uh, Acuna coming up to, to the Braves, um, coming up here. Um, is that mid-April date, is that set in stone for you guys or is that a fluid? Yeah, we haven't set any dates at all. We want him to go down there. He looked great in spring training. He had a great spring. I mean, there's no denying that. I'd never seen him before. The talent is off off the charts. I'd say believe the hype, being completely candid with you. That said, it's one thing to perform in spring training. It's another to get some at-bats underneath you in the minor leagues, playing night games, playing every day. You know, spring training, it's really frag fragmented in terms of your playing time. So you're playing one game, day off, five, six innings, and so on. And no one's preparing for you. No one's going to advance scouting reports for you. You're just going out and playing on talent. So a little bit more development time has never hurt any player before. Hopefully he goes down. He plays at a high level. It's a continuation of what we saw in spring training, and we'll call him up soon thereafter. You had the Futures game uh, the other night. What stood out to you? Uh, just to realize, even the staff, when I came into the, into the clubhouse, I said, man, some of the arms we have are unbelievable. The stuff, it was tremendous to see. Seeing some of the young kids uh, do their thing on the field as well was exciting. So the fact that we can fill a team that's non-Atlanta Braves of great young players is so exciting. It's rare. You don't have that with a lot of teams. So that's just an indicator of how long our run of success has the ability to be open. And that's our full expectation. You're talking about the arms. When, when are you hoping to have that rotation filled out in there? I mean, right now we're going to start with four. Uh, we, our first need for a fifth starter would be April 8th. We could go the 10th. If we still want to, you know, but if we want to give guys a little bit more rest, it would be the 8th against Col Colorado. Um, so we'll have to make some moves with, with the team and take somebody off the 25 man. But Luis Gohara is coming quick. He could be here at the end of April or the beginning of May. Still going to have to perform and, and do well. And we're certainly excited about him. And then some of the other arms that were here the other night, Mike Soroka looked great in spring training. We think he's pretty close as well. One last for you. Uh, Julio getting the start here today. It's his fifth opening day start. He says he wants to improve on last season. Obviously, he didn't have uh, the best season last year. What have you seen from him in spring that leads you to believe that this is going to be a new year for him? 
I mean, if you look at his track record, he's had all-star seasons. He's been a great starter. He had a down year last year. There's no denying that. He'd be the first one to say that. I think defensively, we'll be able to give him a hand there. And from a positioning standpoint, I think we'll add some things that can certainly help him. I think in terms of game planning, we can give him some information that we think can help him. Beyond that, he's just really talented. And you can have a year where you bounce back and have a good year. So we have big expectations for him. The one thing you know is he's going to take the ball. He's out there every five days. He's been a constant in this rotation at a young age. And I think maybe people may, t may tend to take him for, for granted, but not that many guys have done what he's done over the last five years.